the bear though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aunt Molly, Aunt Molly, are you there? It's Miss Mandy. Hi, Miss Mandy. How are you? Hello, everybody. I'm doing great. I'm at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium in Omaha, Nebraska. And I have a special animal visitor for you guys again today. I haven't seen him around. I'm not, he should be here anytime. I don't know if any of you guys have seen him anywhere. He should be flying in really, ah, any moment. Hello, Carl. Everybody, this is Carl. He's a Nicobar pigeon. And Nicobar pigeons come from Nicobar Islands in Southeastern Asia. It's quite a ways from where we live in Nebraska. But they live on ground, the ground floor of the rainforest. And these guys are really beautiful birds. I don't know if the sunlight is letting you see his beautiful colors, but he has very iridescent, very shiny colors of green and blue and white. And the Nicobar pigeon is a really, really neat bird because something very interesting is that they are the closest cousin to the dodo bird. And the dodo bird was a really neat bird. It was about three feet tall, about as tall as maybe a three-year-old. Are, are there any three-year-olds here today? Yeah, so about as tall as you are, but he couldn't fly like the pigeon, the Nicobar pigeon can. But unfortunately, the dodo bird went extinct about 200 years ago. That, that mean, extinct means that they don't exist anymore. They all died off from over hunting. So we really want to keep um, how we care for animals in mind um, when, uh, when we think about animals that live out in the wild. All right, should we see him fly, everybody? Okay, here we go. When you watch Carl fly, you're gonna see that he has kind of a floppy pattern about it. Nicobar pigeons actually fly in a straight line. So they will all line up following the bird in front of them. And what do you notice about the backside of Carl? He has white feathers. So he will follow the bird in front of him who has white feathers. And that's how the iconic, they all keep in line and keep an eye on each other. It keeps that family group all together. Now if you notice, he also has bright red legs. And the Nicobar pigeon is actually a very colorful bird and that helps them when they're looking for mates. Nicobar pigeons will mate for life. That means they have one male and one female will raise all their young together. And the female will lay one egg and they'll take turns sitting on that egg, keeping it warm. And after a couple of weeks, the egg will hatch. And then they'll raise that little chick together, um, just like a little family. Do any boys and girls here have a question? How old is he? Well, Carl is three years old. He was hatched at the zoo here in Omaha and he's been with us ever since. Great question. Does someone else have a question? How long do they live? Well, Nicobar pigeons can live about 10 years. Animals live a lot longer in zoos because of the great care that they receive from their zookeepers and the fact that they don't have any predators. So it's a lot easier to live in a zoo than it is out in uh, the rainforests of Asia. What does he eat? Well, Nicobar pigeons eat seeds and berries and fruits. He's eating a little pellet made just for pigeons right now. It has all the nutrients that he needs, kind of like a vitamin that you might take in the morning. But a really interesting thing about pigeons is that they don't have teeth. No birds have teeth, do they? Like we do, they just have a beak. But that means that they can't chew up their food either. So he swallows his food whole, and then he relies on a little stone in his throat, in his stomach, to grind that food up to help it digest. Well, Miss Mandy, this has been wonderful. Oh, you are welcome. It's great to be here. Carl the pigeon says goodbye to you guys. Have a great, wonderful day. The fun never ends with Aunt Molly and friends. The 